Okay, so the first thing I did was that I recorded my voice on this first audio channel, just singing through this Edgar Allan Poe poem, just part of it. And let me turn these effects off really fast so you can Be hear it's just a regular voice. In that solitude. Which so I just did my regular voice, press record, and then I clicked on this arrow here and added some effects to distort my voice a little bit. There's a bunch of choices. And you don't need to be scared about turning these on and off and adding them because you can always get rid of them. So this is the power button for them. So once you've turned it on or once you've added one, you can turn the power on or off this way. And if you decide you don't like it, you can just exit out and it will go away. So let's try this compressor. And what I would recommend doing when you are testing these different sounds is turn on the loop here. And I just looped it for my whole entire voice recording so that it I can just hear it myself loneliness. over and over again for then, and mess around with it. The spirit See what I like. The dead who stood in life before thee are again in death around so thee. Just my recommendation is just mess around a little bit. See what you like. They have some presets for you. Be silent in that song. So see what you like and what you think sounds interesting. And that's what you should save. So I decided I don't like that compressor. I turned it off, but I can also get rid of it right here. And that is in this arrow over here, effects. Okay. So once I have some effects that I like for this vocal track, I'm actually going to splice up my track a little bit so that I can add some effects in between. And so I'll click on the scissors here and then just click where I want it to be split up. Let's do it there and here and here. And I actually don't want all this dead space at the beginning. So I'll delete that and it just slices it up for you. So now I can spread these out and add some cool stuff to them. You could add them to different tracks if you wanted to. And that's really easy. As you saw me do a second ago, you can just drag it around. So easy. Okay. Right now, Soundation has this Halloween kit. That's really kind of cool. And just like any other time you use foundation, you can click on it and it will give you a preview. So I think I want to put this one in. And I clicked don't adjust to tempo because I don't have a tempo happening right now. I just have a voice recording and um, the tempo is not really going to matter very much. So I'm going to just play around here. Let's see. I'll put this one in over here. And anything that I put in here, I can always undo. I can always delete it so easily. Like if I decide I don't want to do that, I just select it and I press delete and it goes away. So just mess around with it. Let's see what this one sounds like. Turn off my loop here since now my composition is getting longer. Okay, here we go. For then, the spirits of the dead cool. who stood in life before thee you obviously don't have to just use the Halloween kit, use whatever sounds you would like to use in here. Um, those are just kind of a fun collection. Okay, now when I'm creating this sound and editing it, I want to make sure that I direct my listeners attention to what I want them to hear. And so this is dynamically what you might do when you're performing music. You want the listener to hear the melody in the ensemble that's performing and you want them to be able to, without thinking too hard, direct their ear so that they're hearing what you want them to hear. And right now I'm going to want them to hear my voice. So I need to adjust the volume here on this track. There's two ways to do that. And you'll need to do both ways in your project. So here's the master track volume here of your channel. So I can adjust it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust it a little bit quieter than my vo vocal audio channel here. And remember that you can always solo a channel with us and mute it with M. And if I solo it, then it just won't play anything else. So I can hear just what this track sounds like. The other way to do it is to click on this blue thing here and you can change the volume with some like plot points on a little line graph. So I'll start it high er. 
And then I think I want it to get quieter when my voice starts and stay quiet, but start getting louder by the end of that first line that I'm saying. So here I am just plotting out the dynamic contrast, which is really easy and kind of cool. I think it'll stay up and then get quieter in this section so that I can get ready for the next thing. Okay, let's hear how that sounds. Be silent in that solitude. Okay, pretty cool. Now it may have gotten too quiet, so I can readjust here. Maybe I don't want it to get quite that low. And you can see how you can just mess around with this and be you silent find what you in really that like. solitude. Okay, in the same way, you can adjust the panning. And the panning is like, which speaker is it coming out of? Which speaker is your sound coming out of? And that'll be hard to kind of demonstrate on this video, but if you mess with it on your own, you'll notice, especially if you're wearing headphones. So if I wanna adjust the panning, this is just gonna go from left to right. So if I wanna really trip somebody out, you can do this zigzag thing and kind of cool. This is a common horror film um, effect that's used is the panning. And actually any movie, the panning, that's when you're sitting in the theater and you hear the airplane coming from behind you. They've messed with the panning. So let's just see what this sounds like. I'll solo the track. So I actually maybe have adjusted it too much. It's happening too fast, so it's not very effective. And that's okay. I can just get rid of these dots. Oops, I deleted the whole track. But that's okay, I can get it back. So, and I can just click undo. There we go. All right. So I think I'll make this a more gradual thing. And you can see how easy it is to manipulate these little plot points. All right, let's see how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds way more interesting, but I had to kind of experiment a little bit and that is okay, that is okay. All right, so you'll wanna add some effects also. So you can look for effects. You can even record your own effect. You could record a door slamming or record something being creaky. And then you should uh, change the effect on these tracks as well. So let's try the wub filter. That might be kind of cool here. Be silent for then the spirits of the dead who stood in life before thee. Oh, it's hard to hear. Are again in death around. So again, if I don't like it, I'm going to get rid of it. And just experiment until I find something that is cool. It does sound interesting, makes it sound cooler. And it might be helpful to solo the channel so you can find what you really like. Ooh, interesting. I like that one a lot more. So I want you to change the effects of all these tracks as well. So add in some appropriate sound effects, add in some music. You can use MIDI chords if you'd like to create some like spooky sounding chords, you can do that. But then also edit these effects because um, that's gonna just help you get more experience doing that.